we are going to discuss about Ode to a Nightingale written by John Keats. Stanza 5 to 8. I cannot see what flowers are at my feet, nor what soft incense hangs upon the boughs. Explanation It is dark in there because it is night time and there is thick shrubbery. Shifts the focus back to the physical world. But in embalmed darkness, yes, each sweet wherewith the seasonable month endows. Explanation To guess at each scent from what he can smell the seasonable month endows the speaker with the ability to guess to sweetness of the flowers even though he cannot see them. The grass, the thicket and the fruit tree wild, white hawthorn and the pastoral elak time. Explanation is a line from John Keats' poem Ode to a Nightingale, A Bucket of Flowers. Fast fading violets covered up in leaves and mid May's eldest child. Explanation A line from the poem Ode to a Nightingale by John Keats refers to the coming musk rose. The coming musk rose full of devy wine, the murmurous haunt of flies on summer eaves. Explanation the speaker compares the musk rose to a wood where flies gather to drink and com converse a line from John Keats' poem Ode to a Nightingale that uses onomatopoeia to describe the sound of flies of summer evening. Stanza 6 Darkling I listen and for many a time. Explanation expresses the speaker past feelings of being half in love with death and calling it soft names in his rhymes. I have been half in love with easeful death. Explanation The speaker finds death appealing as a way to end his life suffering. Called him soft names in many a mused rhyme. Explanation Expresses his past appeals from a gentle end. To take into the air my quiet breath. Explanation the speaker has considered death as a way to escape the pains of reality and find peace. Now more than ever seems it rich to die. Explanation To seize upon the midnight with no pain while thou art pouring forth thy soul abroad. To seize upon the mid midnight with no pain. Explanation the speaker expresses a desire to die without pain while the nightingale sings. While thou art pouring forth thy soul abroad. Explanation The speaker wants to die while the nightingale sings in ecstasy. In such an ecstasy. Explanation A state of extreme happiness of especially when feeling pleasure. Still would to sing and I have ears in vain. Explanation The speaker would be unable to hear the nightingale song if he were to die. To thy high requiem become a sword. Explanation The speaker imagines himself dead and lying as a soul while the nightingale sings. Stanza 7 To West not born for death, immortal bird, no hungry generations tread thee down. Explanation The speaker tells the nightingale that it is immortal and was not born to die. No generations will ever tread down the nightingale. The voice I hear this passing night was heard in ancient days by Emperor and Down. Explanation The voice of the nightingale has been heard by many people throughout history including emperors and clouds. The nightingale's song has been heard throughout the history in all places where nightingales have lived. Perhaps the self-same song that found a path through the sad heart of Ruth when sick for home. Explanation Speaker who listens to a nightingale song in a dark forest which inspires some meditations on time, death, beauty and human suffering. An allusion to the biblical widow Ruth who was known for her loyalty to her deceased husband's family. 
refers to Ruth, a biblical widow who is known for her loyalty to her deceased husband's family. She stood in tears amid the alien corn. Explanation refers to Ruth, a biblical widow who is known for her loyalty to her deceased husband's family. The same that of times hath. Explanation Who hath not seen thee oft amid thy stone? Charmed magic casements opening on the foam. Explanation Something that comes from the fantasy world. Of perilous seas in fiery lands forlorn. Explanation Describes the nightingale song as something from the fantasy world. Stanza 8 Forlorn the very word is like a bell. Explanation A simile that compares the word forlorn to the sound of a bell. To toll me back from thee to my soul self. Explanation The speaker is being called back to themselves by the word forlorn which they liken to a bell. Adieu the fancy cannot cheat so well. Reflects the speaker realization that their capacity for self-deception is great as she is famed to do deceiving elf explanation the speaker is imagination is unable to permanently re recreate words worlds for him to experience adieu adieu thy plaintive anthem fades Explanation A line from John Keats' poem O to a Nightingale. Past the near meadows over the still stream. Explanation A, night, a nightingale song is fading away and can no longer be heard by the speaker. Up the hillside and now it is buried deep. Explanation a speaker who is standing in a dog forest and listening to a nightingale song. In the next valley glades, explanation, a line from John Keats' poem, Ode to a Nightingale. Was it a vision or a walk, waking dream? Explanation, a line from John Keats' poem, Ode to a Nightingale. Flit is that music do i wake or sleep explanation the speaker is unable to remember if the experience was a vision or a waking dream and if he is currently awake or asleep thank you